Professional Librarian Training 6 Annual Fire Safety Lectures. Now you lot, pay attention. What I'm gonna tell you could save your lives. Can you all hear me at the back? Oh no, but actually we're rather grateful for that. Now, fire's a dangerous thing. You should all have a smoke detector at home. You do, don't you? Uh, I don't. Ring the local fire station. They'll send round a fireman to give you one. Ha <laughs> ha, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Don't be smutty. Now, there are two tones of alarm. If you hear the first one, beep. Well, don't you move, because the fire's in a neighboring area. I hope it stays there. If you hear the second one going beep beep, though, that means there's a fire in your section. Now, we actually changed policy last year, so we don't evacuate anymore. You have to search for the fire. Oh, yes. And what do I do when we find it? Well, you just wait for the fire officer's arrival to tell you when to leave. What happens if the fire gets bigger while we wait? Try not to catch fire or stand too near anything too combustible. Like books? In a library? Oh, Flying Flap Doodles, he's really not being very helpful. Just look at it as a way of getting rid of unwanted stock. Hey, isn't it dangerous having a fire in the same room as we are? Oh no, because at least you know where the fire is then. It's when the fire's on the other side of the door you have to worry. Is he aware these rules make no sense at all? <laughs> hey, when did the fire safety rules at work make too much sense? Fair point. Oh, uh, Mr. Rat, what happens if there's a fire somewhere in the building and we need to know where it is just in case it's too dangerous to stay where we are? Ah, that's easy, Mr. Goose. You just need to find the most junior and <laughs> expendable member of staff and send them out in the corridor to have a look around. <laughs> if they haven't come back in ten minutes, well, there's probably a nasty fire. Call the fire brigade. <laughs> so long, Cyril. Be nice knowing you. Finally, the alarms of this building, you know, they're, they're a little old. Uh, and as budgets are slashed, we do turn them off from time to time, just to, you know, save a little bit of money and stop them wavering out. So, what happens if a fire breaks out when they're off? Oh, don't you worry. Someone will come and tell me eventually. Oh, great, marvellous. Well, I'm off for a crafty smoke between 62.8 by 9.2. That's a very good section. I'm coming to join you.